to see a study of a rope knot um, yeah, as, a, as a 2D painting. You know, most people wouldn't think, oh, wow, that's, that's art. Well, it is. The Peace Gallery North is getting ready to show a local artist's work. The gallery is showing Flotsam, a collection of paintings and rope sculptures by Eliza Massey Stanford. Stanford says she decided to paint about a subject that was familiar to her. I grew up on the coast. I grew up right next to the sea and uh, myself and my three older brothers, we spent a lot of time playing on the beach. That was our, our backyard and we are always finding things. The exhibit will run for two weeks starting Friday and takes its name from debris that washes up on shore. Stanford says beachcombing was one of her favorite activities as a child. It's just uh, it's a fascinating uh, treasure hunt. Every day you go walking along a beach, what are you going to find? What's floated in? What's the story behind this object? Um, sometimes you find really good things like a boat. Uh, other times it's just a running shoe. The gallery also has an opening reception for the exhibit tomorrow night at 7, which they say is an opportunity for the public to come and ask questions. As a curator, I don't care if somebody comes up and says, you know, the, what's this, what's that? That's what we're supposed to do. If they come up and they just go, huh, I failed in my job. When they come up and they look at something and say, I like it, I don't like it, what's this, what does it mean? That's my job. Moss also says that he feels the exhibit is world class. I've curated all over the world, uh, from Europe, North America, and like I would feel very comfortable with taking this exhibition to France for a week or two weeks or a month, um, or taking it to, to Southport in England um, on the coast because it just would work. The gallery is open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. from Tuesdays to Saturdays in the North Peace Cultural Center and admission is free. Hugh Smith, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.